Hello everybody and welcome to uh, Thomas Was Alone. Um, I've done a Clio Fails on this episode and um, on this episode, on this game and I actually really, I adore this game. It's got, it's got everything that I want from a game. Um, it's, it's pretty chill, it's got no problems, um, you can solve the issues at any point and um, it has a nice flow to it and it's very chilled and relaxing and it's got a good story and it doesn't worry too much about graphics for example even recording I'm at 150 frames per second which is which is pretty good for me actually um, we're gonna start a new game I have finished it before once um, there are points which which make me panic but this is uh, what's going to be played instead of Half-Life. Um, so, yeah, we'll have a nice little uh, a nice little game that we'll go through and, and we'll spend several episodes just mooching about. It doesn't take too long, so, so it's a nice filler between Half-Life. And I don't particularly want to have a shooty-shooty in case this runs over. It shouldn't run over, it should be okay. Okay, okay. let's go. And that music. The program was a failure. People forget this. It was a massive flop. The coder started adding name strings to the AI as a joke. Thomas AT23612 wasn't special. It was just an AI in the right place at the right time. Okay. Thomas was alone. Wow. A weird first thought to have. And that's pretty much the crux. Get the, the things into the right colours. <laughs> Nope, can't go that way. Okay, we're gonna fall. Downy, Thomas downy, Thomas decided downy. to start listing his observations for posterity. Mm. He's like me, One, he's a scientist. the whole alone thing. Two, portals. They led somewhere. He'd yet to work out where. Three, falling. Thomas was absolutely fantastic at falling. He was almost as good at falling as he was at observing. He is indeed. He's a fabulous observer. Okay, interesting. Thomas couldn't fall past this block. Think, damn it, think. What if there was some kind of inverted fall? Some way to... What's the word? Jump. Jumpy, 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 it jumpy. It worked! Thomas had solved the great inverted fall mystery. Fabulous. A big jump. But Thomas noted there was no real danger in missing it. The world didn't want him to fail here. It was pushing him, but gently. Thomas is an optimist. See? Four levels. Great character already. This all seemed a little dangerous. The world was not to be trusted. It was unstable, and it seemed to Thomas that it could let him down at any moment. We made it! He was starting we made to it. suspect it might even be doing so on purpose. Nah. Paranoia. See? Already we're, what, like five minutes into the game? Less than that, even. And he's already got a character. I love it. I love it. I think it's great. Okay. Thomas wondered whether the portals were actually taking him anywhere. He felt like he was making progress, but there wasn't really any way to know. He seemed to be moving predominantly up and to the right. Up and to the right. Might, or might not be important. It's always important in games like these. Up and to the right. That's where your goal is. It might have been paranoia again. But Thomas could have sworn the world was becoming more complicated. It always seemed to be one step ahead of his skills. My skills. It had been designed just for him. Ah, fuck. He wondered why. Was the world testing him? No. Too obvious. World's testing him. I'm testing him. <laughs> Something about the boiling, toxic, glowing water intimidated Thomas. 
He didn't like it. He certainly Safe didn't point. want to swim in it. He made another mental note. Four. Water. Not good. To be avoided. To be avoided. Okay. Where are we? Okay. The it loneliness was getting to Thomas. No amount of observation or obsessive note-taking could combat that. He's adorable! Um, yeah. I'm, I'm, it always shows you the portal before you... Before you start. Whee! That was a long jump. Bouncy, 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 bouncy. And here we go. And out we go. Whee! Thomas had a new theory. The world was training him. Yep. He could feel himself getting smarter. There was the mental list to consider. Over the minutes and seconds since his spontaneous generation, he'd become a pretty skilled jumper. Yep, he has. He's, he's pretty good at he was jumping. Evolving. He just wished he had someone to share it with. Oh, Thomas is alone, and it's so sad. Come on, come on, move your ass. Thank you. Love the music in this game, it's nice and chilled. I submitted hundreds of bug reports. I told the idiot this would happen. Overlapping scripts, more than one AI was bound to be spawned into an environment at some point. Turns out I missed the point. That little error changed everything. Chris took an immediate and deep dislike to the skinny red rectangle. Who the hell did this Thomas think he was? Fucking Chris. I love Chris. Chris is, is one of my favourites in this game. And he's a fucking square! He's a fucking square. Chris had been doing fine. Fine! He wasn't the highest jumper, but he'd held his own. Yeesh. He'd even been graceful at times. Well, not actually... Not technically graceful, it's probably, probably the wrong word, but you know, fine. There was that skinny little runt leaping about like he owned the place. Yeah, fuck you, Thomas. Don't say that about Thomas, I love Thomas. Um, come on, let's go save Chris. Whoa, hey, 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 now, hey now, environment. Yeah, Mum. We'll save Chris. Must always save the Christopher. Bouncy, 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 bouncy down. Wee. Okay, let's get Thomas back to where he should be. And in. Okay, this was more like it. A glowy white thing. Only Chris could get to it, which of course made it all the more enticing. What would it do? What new opportunity might this switch open up to him? Um, well, considering you can't jump for shit, uh, not a lot, actually, Chris. We'll just cope Grace, with that. Grace. Another chance for Thomas to jump slightly higher than Chris. How fortunate. <laughs> Seriously. This made the whole switch pressing thing entirely worthwhile. Oh, entirely worthwhile. Fucking switches. See, this game is what? This game is adorable. Was this good? Because on the surface, it did not seem good. Chris was pretty scared. Little Red seemed fine happy to be on his merry little adventure. Chris couldn't shake the feeling that things Whoa. had taken a significant turn for the worse since Thomas had joined him. Well, we would all sure, cope with that. Sure, he'd been able to piggyback his way to ever so slightly higher platforms, but oh, shit. where had that got him? To ever well, so slightly higher platforms. Ever so slightly higher platforms, which was sort of his point. There we go. And you can do your mega jump, or, or maybe Cleo cannot fail, and you can do it. Not fail, Cleo. Thank you. Or, you know, I can just fail, fail miserably. 
I'm not a great platformer, I have to say, but this game, I'm willing to make an ex- No, just- It's completely over! I should just not say words. There you go. There we go, finally. Took a while. Okay, the puzzles get progressively harder, as you can probably tell. Huh. Chris stared at Thomas with pure hatred. Oh, Chris. He seemed so very happy at their situation. Friends together, a brave fellowship of quadrilaterals on a quest for greatness. <laughs> the fellowship of quadrilaterals. Be fine. But it was all the obvious observation that Thomas was doing which grated. Every time they saw something vaguely new, Chris would hear a satisfied little hmm from the vaulting idiot. The vaulting idiot. He hoped the next portal would split them up. If only for a few levels. Oh, we can hope, Chris. We can hope. The vaulting idiot. Ah, oh, okay. How is Thomas getting down here? It's been such a long time since I've played this. And I really do love this game. Come on. Come back to me, little platform. Across the glowing waters of doom. Bouncy, 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 bouncy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yay, that's how we're going to do it. Hi, Chris. Huh. Okay. John knew. He knew that this was his chance. A moment to shine. This was game day. Game day. Okay, the long yellow one is John. I'd forgotten about him, more or less. There we go. This would not do. John needed room to show off his exceptional skills. As it was, he was trapped on the wrong side of these little dot things. Yep, little dot things. Where do they come from, anyway? Chris and Tom are. Yay! Go, John! Yeah, I get way too involved in the characters in this game, but they are just well done. They're just well done. John inhaled the air of the open space, and it smelled of awesome. Lots of things smell of awesome, but time mostly to flex space. those muscles to put his training to use time to show those little dots how it was done. Well, let's try and get Chris across, because Chris is going to be John the problem. John decided to press the switch to let the little dots catch up with him. John cared for his new allies. John's a bit of a prick, isn't he, to be you honest? You could tell from the sympathetic expression he'd practised in the mirror all these years. Wow, John's been around for years, dude. And he's been alone all that time? Fuck me. Make your staircase. Oh, you can't jump over, John, can you? Go on, Chris. Do it. Do it for England. Or Computonia. Or wherever it is you live. Okay, we're gonna need we're gonna need a Tom. This is ground Chris to Major Tom. Here we go. Bouncy, bouncy. Down, down, bounce, bounce. Chris made it first. Tom. Tom is gonna need John. Oh dear. Come on, John. Wee! Wee! Okay, John, John is actually lots of fun. But he is a bit of a prick, as far as I can tell. There we go, we're in! What? What? Okay, 1.9. Huh. Well, John, come on then. Let's go press the button. John was happy to keep helping. He felt it was important to his image that he was seen to help the little guys. Fuck you, John. Fuck you and everything you stand for. Which is nothing! Okay, so... We need to make a staircase for Chris. 
Oh, fuck. Okay, John, sh John needs to shift out a little bit. Tom, there you go. That should be able to get Chris up there now. Okay, come on, Tom. Let Major Dickhead fight for himself. There we go. Can you make it across? No. We need to make another staircase. Although we should be able to get over the top of this one if I'm not mistaken. Which I probably am though. We can do it. Ah. Oh. Okay, we get the point. We've worked it out. Okay, we're going to need a Tom case for this one. Chris case, go. Well, that's what I called them before, wasn't it? Okay. Chris, you're up. Okay, we're going to need... We're going to need Major Dickhead. Away we go. He didn't mind them so much either. Alley up. The red one, Thomas, had a charming way of applauding every time John jumped. Okay. Tom needs also needs help. Oh, fuck me. Tom needs help to get up there as well. That shocks me. Da, 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 da. Lovely music. Wish I had the soundtrack to this one. It's a nice chilled atmosphere. And let's get John up. John could probably jump the whole way himself. Either that or he's a knob. Chris, go! Captain Tom! The angry orange one was less immediately likeable, but his unremitting cynicism and tutting amused John. That's very patronising of you. Right, you're going to need to stay there. Ah, uh, no, you're need, you going to need to come down. Oh, fuck. I've, oh, my God, I fucked it up. Yes, I have. Okay, upsy daisy. Let's see if we can get Chris over there. No, we're going to need a John. Going to need a John. Ah, uh, there we go. Up, alley up, down. Tom. Oh, for fuck's sake. Right, you need to do that. And. Oh, bollocks. How am I going to do this? But then he can't get up. Maybe I don't need John there. Maybe I need Tom. Right, can John get... Ah, that's how you do it. Fuck, that took ages. Okay. And... Through... This was interesting. A floating target. This would require coordination, balance, and timing. Also bullshit. John was sure the dots would be lost, but he was happy to guide them to triumph. Oh, shut up, John. You're a prick. Go on, Chris. You can do it. Maybe that's what the dots were for. They were there to extend John's reach, to make his performance even more impressive. John liked the thought. He well, decided to keep them. You don't get to keep them. They're living creatures, living AIs. There you go. 
The initial group possessed similar, simple variations in size and strength. More complex configurations were inevitable. As the era spread, these variations became increasingly extreme. Oh, we're on level two. So, this was how Claire would die. Claire. I knew it would happen eventually. Oh, Claire. She was rubbish at jumping. Rubbish at jumping. She moved slowly. She felt a little like her continued existence was breaking some kind of natural order. Oh, Claire. The crumbling pillar was a dramatic death, she supposed. Wait. What? Claire couldn't shake the feeling that she was not, in fact, dead. It was at that moment that Claire realised she had superpowers. She'd need a cape. There was no getting around that. You couldn't be a superhero without a cape. Claire didn't want confusion. Of course not. And we're going to leave it there. If you saw a cape, that oh, hang on a second. clear. You knew what you were dealing with. Claire was all about communication. Right, and I'm going to leave it there for and, the first... You know, floating in water. Which Thank was her superpower. Thank you, story man. Are you done? Right, we're done. Okay, that's going to be the end of the first episode of Thomas Was Alone. And Claire's magic superpower of floating. Um, we will leave it there and we'll pick it up next time. I'll see you later, zombies. Bye.